We are on location now looking at the equipment that you'll find on the ground. So this home has a solar system and the equipment that you'll find on the ground will either be attached to the side of the house or commonly in the garage, usually close to where the breaker panel is. So we'll start with the inverter. The inverter is turning the DC electricity that comes from the solar panels into AC electricity that can then be used by the home. So we have a DC run coming into the inverter through a DC disconnect, which is labeled here. And then this is the inverter itself, which is turning that DC electricity into AC. And then here we have the wire run for the AC output from the inverter through an AC disconnect, which is also labeled. This system happens to have a production meter that's just for the PV system. This is separate from the utility meter or in addition to the utility meter and it's only measuring what's coming out of the solar system before it's used by the house. So out of the production meter, it then comes to the interconnection point. So this interconnection is done via breaker. So this is the breaker for the solar energy to come into the panel and then it will be used by any loads that are running on these circuits here and any energy that's not used by these circuits or these loads are going to then go through the utility meter and back out to the grid. So this meter is a net meter which goes backwards and forwards. You'll notice a lot of labeling associated with these systems. It should be clear and visible and tell you the system size and some basic information about the system. Some interconnection points don't have a breaker and they would be tapped into the line. Whether it's a breaker or just tapped, it will have some labeling to let you know that there is a PV system um, associated with this house. Some other equipment that we don't have on this system, this is a grid-tied system. So when the utility power goes down, this system is not going to operate. That's a safety feature so that energy doesn't leak back out into the line while the linemen are repairing the power outage. Some systems nowadays have battery backup. That's becoming more and more common. So you may find a battery bank. It could be a bank of batteries that are wired together, contained in a battery box, or it could be a self-contained unit that's mounted to the wall that's really a purpose-built battery bank. Um, often their charge controllers are integrated into the battery bank, or you may have a separate charge controller. But this is the basic equipment you're gonna see on the ground, the inverter, some disconnects, maybe a production meter, maybe some monitoring equipment, and then there's an interconnection point. Some of those extras that are more optional are the battery bank with charge controller. You may find that or a monitoring device that may be a, a small communication device mounted near all of this equipment. It tends to be all grouped together so you'll find it in the same place. So that completes this portion talking about the equipment associated with a solar electric system. Now let's go back to the lab and talk about some defects that you'll be looking for.